Hey guys and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again we've got 5 amazing free assets which we're going to be going over and covering today and as always there will be links in the description down below to download all of these assets for yourself. So this month we've got Insta Deform Component, the Wild West City, Fluid Ninja VFX Tools, a point and click adventure toolkit and a turn based RPG template. So again I'm going to be going over explaining and showcasing these just so you can see what we've got available to us. And I also just want to say thank you to Stream for sponsoring this video, the number one chat API for games, but we'll get more into that later on. So let's get right into this video. So first off we're going to start with the Insta Deform component, and this instantly adds visual deformation capabilities to your vehicles and more. So it features an ultra fast setup, so it only takes seconds to add the component to your project. It's cost efficient, so for every single vehicle in your game would cost your team countless work weeks and it's unequivocally cheaper than the labour cost of paying other people to create it for you. It's fully replicated, it's got skeletal mesh support and static mesh support, however the static mesh is experimental but you'll notice it is still there anyway. So it adds visual deformations, it's an ultra fast setup, it's cost efficient, it's replicated and static mesh support like I just said. This isn't done in Blueprints, it's done in C++ and there's only one C++ class in here which will show you it's very efficient in the fact that it's done in C++ instead of Blueprints, it should run nice and efficiently for you. Now in the video showcase on screen now, it looks as if the cars are being deformed too easily in my opinion, but I think they've just done that really just to showcase what it does and I imagine you can really customise it to get your own needs. So this one looks absolutely fantastic. Next up is the Wild West City, Wild West Town, Wild West Sky City, Town. They've really got a big name there, I think they're just trying to cover all the bases. So this is a Wild West and steampunk environment and the pack contains everything you will ever need to build your own flying cities. So I think this one looks fantastic as you can see on screen now, it looks very very highly detailed. So the style of this environment can be considered as semi-realistic to hyper-realistic. The pack will enable you to easily create vast sky cities and supplement your current world. There are so many props in this as well, so you have everything from simple buckets to massive airships. You can quickly populate your world with them to create believable worlds in minutes. Several reusable materials are included so you can use them across your projects. And it's all nicely optimised, so the scene has been optimised to ensure it runs smoothly on most hardware. They say most because again this is of high quality so you'll need to at least be able to run something of that quality first. So there are 44 unique meshes with LODs included as well. There are 39 materials and material instances with 124 textures ranging from 2K and 4K resolutions. So as I said I think this one looks amazing. You can really see all the detail gone into this and you can really create your own city using all of this stuff as well. So next up is Fluid Ninja VFX Tools. This is Bake Fluid Sim to Flipbooks and Player Materials. You can drive Niagara and volumetric systems with fluid data, create stylized and realistic fire, smoke and clouds, and you can make your own VFX assets all inside of Unreal. So VFX is one of those things that can be very difficult to get to look right, and this will really help you to create that nice effect that you want. So the tools in this are Fluid Simulator with real-time viewports and preset management, a baking tool with saving density and velocity data to flipbooks and flipbook player materials, volume smoke, volume cloud and volume fog setups to drive volumetrics with flipbooks, Niagara modules to sample the baked fluid data and drive GPU particle systems, flow map and vector field creation tools, blueprint functions for managing Niagara systems and ray marching, and demo levels with over 100 use cases for stylized and realistic VFX. So again, anything which you want to make VFX wise, this will do the job for you. So some more main features of this are it does have UE5 compatibility, it's real time parameter controlled fluid simulator with density and velocity output, atlas map and image sequence baker generating texture assets and vector field data, tiling, looping baked data ready to cover larger areas, material generator to automatically embed the baked assets and so much more. Obviously the video on screen now is really showing off a lot better than words can, you're just seeing what it is that you're going to do, what you can make and what's possible with it. And again as I said VFX is one of those things that's very difficult to get right and this should really help with that. And next up we've got the point and click adventure toolkit. So this is a highly customizable point and click adventure game framework and this is pretty much 5 stars with 27 reviews. 
so it features a 100% blueprint framework, a point and click styled movement and interactions, an action system so you can easily add and modify your own gameplay actions as well, data driven dialogue, interactive items and inventory is already set up for you, intractable objects, doors and crossing transitions, an extensive save and load system, advanced and fixed cameras and again so much more, basically anything you would expect to see in a point and click adventure game you get in this toolkit so you can really create your own game based upon that if you wanted. So there's 109 blueprints, 35 widgets, the input is both mouse and touch, however it's not network replicated. So as I've said with pretty much all of these, the video is showcasing it very efficiently for you to be able to see what it is you can do and what's possible with this asset pack. But again, the best way to think about it is if you've played a point and click adventure game, everything that's in there you can make with this pack pretty much. So this is perfect for anybody wanting to have a base fundamental foundations for a point and click adventure game. And finally, last but not least, is the turn based RPG template. So similarly to last one, this is a template for the base fundamentals of a specific type of game. So this is a blueprint turn based RPG template that provides core functionalities like drag and drop units onto the ground, character stats and skills, wave of enemies and boss fights. So the features are as 100% blueprints, there is a grid system, drag and drop system, camera movements, wave of enemies, boss fights, supportive and offensive skills, attack patterns and a damage system based on stats. So there are 48 blueprints and the input is keyboard and mouse. So once again I think this one looks absolutely amazing for what it is, for what you want to be able to do with it, this has all those bases covered for what you need. Again, all the basics of creating a turn-based RPG are in this template, so you can really customize it and change it for what you want while still having the base fundamentals there created for you. And on this page as well, they do also have a sample project in which you can download and use the art and assets from there, or if you just wanted to try it out and see what you can make as well, that's great for it. So today's video is sponsored by Stream. Stream is the number one chat API for games. So what is chat API you might be asking? It is what allows you to talk to other people in multiplayer games by text and or voice. So as you can imagine, implementing a chat API into a game can be pretty difficult and time consuming and oftentimes requiring a lot of work. So Stream provides scalable API solutions, which means you can easily integrate real time chat systems into your game. So Stream is completely free for all indie devs and startups. So go check out and sign up for their free maker account by clicking the link in the description down below. So thank you once again to Stream for sponsoring this video and let's get right back into the video you were just watching. But I think that'll be it for this video on this month's monthly free assets for July 2022 on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again, we've gone over five amazing free assets which are linked all in the description down below and they're all absolutely fantastic. I think my favorite one this time around it's got to be the Wild West City, purely just because of how nice it looks. A lot of the other ones have better fundamentals behind them, but I think that one just looks absolutely amazing. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this month. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just going over all the different assets and showcasing them and giving my opinions on them. And if you did find it helpful and you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.